In this week's edition of That's Not Heavy Duty, I want you to listen to or watch, if you're watching the video version, to this video from a TikToker named at Jack Spanners. Now, he is a heavy duty technician, and he tells a very interesting story about his experience as a young apprentice. Listen in to Jack Spanners' story. I used to work, I used to work with a similar bloke. He used to f with me all the time when, back when I was an apprentice. I mean, he used to hit my elbows and knees with a, with a wire brush. I remember this particular time he knew I didn't have knee pads in. And I was lay back, checking some wheels with my knees pointed up, and he'd come around and whacked me on the knee. And there must have went in a, you know, a couple of mil into my knee when, as he pulled it out. And it got infected and I, was, I had a rough knee for about two weeks. He used to do this f***ing weird thing as well. He'd come up behind you if you were sat in the tea room or something and he'd bite the back of your neck. Sounds a bit homoerotic, doesn't it? But he'd leave you looking like you've got a love bite. And he'd say, f***ing try explain that to the missus. He's just, well, you know. Anyway, it came to a head one time. So all the lads are out the back. There's nothing to do. We're all smoking out the back. And something got said and he chased me around this caddy van. And after a few circuits, I thought, he ain't giving up. He's, and you could see in his eyes, he wanted to f***ing hurt me. But at that point, I think I was about 18, 19, and I'd been doing MMA, a judo, and a Brazilian jiu-jitsu for quite some time, and I was, I was f***ing good at it. Anyway, I just stopped running. As he come to me, I swept him, lay him on the ground, sat on his chest, and started smacking his face. So what are you going to do now, old-timer? And all the lads, you know, all the lads were laughing, and it got brushed off but he never challenged me again. And subsequently, uh, unfortunately, he just moved on to the other apprentices. But the thing is, they're in every shop. And I'll tell you now, you f with me a lot, but that bloke taught me a hell of a lot. That's the thing. I used to kind of look at it as like intellectual theft. He didn't like me very much. I certainly didn't like him, but he was forced to teach me everything he knew. It was like, you know, who got the better deal? You know what I mean? I gave him nothing and he taught me my craft. So, you know, I put up with a bit with him um, until I couldn't put up with any more. It's just, you know, it's character building at the end of the day. Some of it's banter, but it does turn into bullying. Does this resonate with you? I know, I know that the past generations, I know that they bullied the baby boomers and then the baby boomers bullied the Gen Xers and, and millennials. And I know that that is oftentimes just part of the culture of uh, the whole trades and apprenticeship. And it's not just in our industry. This is definitely something I saw in the contracting world as well. I know, I know, I know. As heavy duty people, we need to be resilient. And I certainly know that a little bit of lighthearted teasing is completely appropriate. And, you know, kids are just going to have to deal with that. It's part of being uh, an apprentice as part of learning. But this kind of, of extreme bullying, this kind of like physical altercations, this is not heavy duty. This is not what we want to do. And if we are going to act like that, guess what? If we're going to act like that, these kids are not going to put up with it. They have a lot of options. There is so few of them available to us that we are all in the trades competing for these young talented people to join our industry. And if we're going to mistreat them, we're going to lose them. That's just the way it is. So we got to change our mindset. If you're in this mindset, you need to really take a look in the mirror and ask yourself, what have you been doing that is contributing to people leaving the industry? And if the answer is that you've been doing something that is contributing to people leaving the industry, that's not heavy duty. You need to change your, your attitude. You need to change your behavior. And for the rest of us who who aren't geared that way, we don't necessarily bully people. When we see it, we got to call it out. And again, I am not saying that there isn't room for a little bit of lighthearted teasing, for a bit of camaraderie to develop over time. And certainly, if we screw up when we're young and we have to learn the hard way, a little bit of a tough talk is not what I'm talking about here. I am talking specifically about the kind of of physical bullying that at Jack Spanners calls out in this video. Did you notice though his attitude towards the end? He recognized that even though he experienced this kind of bullying, he's the one that actually benefited because he stuck with it. That is a heavy duty, resilient man that we should all be proud to have in our industry.